Life After Pro Football. A former player from New Jersey takes on a more delicate hobby. Nick Medanis here with the story. A way to help him focus, he says, Brian and Roxanne, from Highland Park. L.J. Smith starred at Rutgers before a seven-year NFL career, but these days he taps into a different skill set. If we're painting over the sand, how can we paint it the sand anyway? Smith hasn't played in seven years, but the need to win never goes away. Just ask his wife, Jessica. Anything physical he wants to compete or put a wager on it. I compete with everything. He does, and with everybody. He grew addicted to competition as an NFL tight end. One of the highlights, a touchdown catch in Super Bowl 39, what he calls an out-of-body experience. Not too many people can say that they played in it, and not too many people can say that they caught a touchdown in it. It made everything worth it. But barely 30, at retirement, he wondered what's next. If I can't put my body in harm's way every Sunday and be successful, then there's got to be something else I can do. He says Jessica helped him find the answer. They've got a clothing store in Edison, and now this Pinot's palette in South Plainfield, a place to paint and drink. Partners in every sense, even finishing each other's thoughts. I consider myself a renaissance man, he likes to call himself. She said it. <laughs> but I don't just, know. I like, I, I, like, I like other things. Like this. Finding peace after years of on-field violence. But Smith says art was a talent from first grade. A teacher even suggesting he was gifted. I told everybody. I was like, you know, I'm not, I'm not even supposed to be here. Right? <laughs> I'm supposed to be out of this school already. I'm supposed to be in the next grade up. Exactly. But life wasn't always so funny. His parents split when Smith was 11. Mom went on disability, which he says turned into low-income housing. He struggled academically, almost failing at a Rutgers. He wants others to learn how he righted his wrongs. If anybody wants to hear my story, I'll tell it all the time because I've done pretty much everything that you shouldn't do. Smith recently got his college degree. Now he and Jessica can look toward the future. I think your palm trees look better. Your leaves look better. Yours is good too. My grass your grass is better. Is better. <laughs> this is vacation 2018. Beach drink, bar, sunset. There we go. Sounds nice. Smith, for his career, finishing with 18 touchdowns and about 2,500 yards. He was the top player on offense during Greg Schiano's first two years at Rutgers. All right, we did it for Richard Jefferson the other night, so tonight it's Vince Carter. ESPN reports Carter signs a deal with the Kings. 21st season, he's 40 years old and can still do this, just like his days with the, yes, New Jersey Nets. This is not very neighborly. The Sussex Miners hosting a team from Canada. Jay Baum tries to steal for Sussex. Well, really, he just tries to take out the second baseman. He was on first because he got hit by a pitch and apparently out for revenge. Bench is clear, bodies fly. It's baseball. Oh, exactly. All in the name of good old minor league baseball. I was going to say, that's hockey. <laughs>